Vlog end viewers, Paphos, half past 11 in the evening. A lot of places are shutting up quite early here. A lot of restaurants shut, maybe about 11 o'clock. Promenade down there, it heads towards the marina. Done another wee video down there, check out the channel. Just heading back up to my hotel. I'll show you where I have a dinner and we'll see if there's any bars that are busy up here. This bar has been busy the whole day since I've been here. A cafe, what's it called? Pingino Cafe. It's lovely inside and it's been consistently busy. It's a nice chilled out place. We're just going to head up the hill. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll know where I'm staying. We're going to go back down to the Young, I call it the Young Strip. I don't know what you call it. I just call it the Young Strip. It's, it's the one with bars with booby music. Earlier on I went at half past eight and there was literally nobody there, empty. So I'm going to go around and see what it's like this Saturday night. I'm not going in any of the bars. They're not really my kind of scene because I'm nearly 50. Um, I like bars with live music and singers. These bars mostly just had like really kind of loud pounding music, which if I was young again, I'm sure I'd probably like. Roast and grill corner. Yeah, it's quite a quiet, chilled out place, Paphos, as far as I can see. Flintstones bar's busy the whole night, anytime I walk by, there's a lot of people in it. Round the corner, the Baywatch bar as well. That was quite busy, I remember singing in it, I think it was good. It's Flintstones bar. A nice bar, actually. Busy, nice wee spot at the bar there, just sitting having a wee drink. TV at the back showing the football. Fred Flintstone stuff. Nice, eh? <laughs> yeah, quite busy. Right. That Indian I was considering going to earlier on, it was absolutely jam packed. But they shut about half past ten, it was they just completely shut down. So a lot of the restaurants here shut earlier than you'd imagine on a Saturday night. So this is where the separate music was in here. I could literally not get a seat in here. It was absolutely mobbed. The dancers in the middle of the floor there. Again, that's just shut this time as well. So I just walked across the road and there's a wee curry at the Delhi Gate. Portions are massive in there. I couldn't even finish all my curry. So a curry, chicken curry, blue rice, and a large pint of coke was like 17 euros. It's a pretty average price, usually what you'd expect to pay most places usually. But this is one of the busiest places in here, obviously now it's shut. But an hour ago you couldn't get a table in here, it was absolutely jam packed. So, maybe if I come back again I'll come in here. So it looks like a really nice restaurant. It's been here since 1971, as the sign will tell you, the oldest traditional taberna. So if you're looking for a wee bit, something a bit more authentic, then probably head in there. That's a Robin Hood bar. We're going to go up to the young ones bit in a minute, we'll see. I'm going round the corner here. Heading back up to my hotel. Walk with me to the end. Let's head up this way and see who's getting any busier. You fancy getting a wee picture with your other half here? There you go. You get your picture taken there. Uh, Robin Hood's not been that busy when I went by it. There's a few people in to be fair. Not too busy. Again, the music is pretty much blaring. Let's continue. There's a few people in this one as well. Don't know what the time these bars are open till. I get the feeling. These bars are probably open to 3 in the morning, I would imagine. That's the vibe I can get there. Do the shisha pipes here, are anybody's interested in that? You need to remember this is a road, sometimes you forget, unless you're doing videos. This place earlier was empty, it's now busy. The difference is unbelievable here. So this is where the young ones go, around about here definitely. I probably need to edit this one with the music. It's got so, so busy here, it's unbelievable. It's, I, I can't, they, they must have bust these people in. Two hours ago, there was nobody here. Nobody, now it's so busy. There is some nightlife here, surprisingly enough. That's Flair's Bar. Walk around the side, okay, viewers. Spread all the way along. And you can see, it's just... I would probably say average age is mid 20s in there. One for the young ones, I'd say, definitely. Out of Africa. Fast food takeaway. Again, these places will probably be really busy later on. You've got bubbles, cocktail, and music bar here as well. Again, 
It's not busy, but we'll maybe get busy later on. Maybe they move from one bar to the next later on. There's not much going up at this side, so no point. We're going to head back down anyway. Karaoke bar over there, which wasn't busy earlier on, but it's uh, still not really that busy. There's some great deals in Harpers stuff there, so that might be a wee pre drink place you go. We've got these other place, Boogie's Karaoke Club. So, really, all the action tonight, anyway, seems to be in players. That's where it's most busy by quite a massive difference, to be honest with you. It's a uh, kind of surprised me, I didn't really think half us had much of a kind of lively nightlife at all. It's just got a few bars here. It's not much, so you can be staying around the corner and, and it's really, really quiet. You wouldn't really know any of this. As we get around here, you'll see the difference. Some of the bars next to my hotel have actually shut for the night as well. Some are not even open. So, if you're a young one and you want to stay out to see in the morning, that's the kind of bars you'll be heading to. A few ones here, that's the Red Lion Bar. Again, earlier on, wasn't many. <laughs> Again, earlier on, there wasn't many people really hanging about here, so it's got busier. Um, maybe if I come back at one in the morning, it'd be a lot busier. But viewers, I'm not be doing that because I've still no accommodation booked for tomorrow. I still not decided where I'm going. I'm not really sure. Need to maybe think about it, viewers. So we're going to take a wee right there's Club Rainbow. As you can see by the sign, let's cross over. I need to research where to get buses tomorrow if I'm going somewhere else. I'm in two minds. Can't really do many videos around about here because I've done five or six in this bit here. But is there anywhere, anywhere more that I can do it? Around about here in Pathos? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to need to research this. I need to go on YouTube myself. Shusha pipes, more shusha pipes. I need to go on YouTube myself and see if anybody else has done, done videos. Now remember I was telling you there was a good singer on here earlier on in Baywatch. She's still on. She's on a, she's on a journey. Pretty good. It's a lovely bar this one. Show the football, we've got live music as well. Run across the road, friends at live music Ella. I don't know if I've still got it on. I'm gonna go in one of these in a minute probably. That's Baywatch. Yeah, lovely bar. Right, so let's see if they still got music on in Friends. There's a girl one here earlier on who's really good. If they still got music here, I might go here because it's literally the closest one. Oh. I know, they're watching Eurovision. The singer's finished. I think the singer's finished. And Eurovision's on. Show all the football here as well. Yeah. Should have came earlier. I think they've stopped the singing probably early so everybody can watch the Eurovision Song Contest results. <laughs> I think that's just happened, viewers. To be fair. Let's go around the corner. There's another bar with live music around the corner here as well. It wasn't very busy earlier on. We'll see if anybody else has done it. Maybe they're all watching Eurovision results as well. Before I forget, might as well. It's free. Hit the wee subscribe button if you've not already joined the channel. It doesn't cost anything. Um, it just helps support the channel. It gives me a wee vote that I'm doing something okay. I just like to show you all the different holiday results. There's nothing fancy, nothing complicated. I just show you as it is. There's Alexander's pub. That's a good pub for, for live football. Um, I was in there earlier on watching the Simone game. If you watched the previous videos, you'll know how that ended. A last minute penalty for Hearts. Basically ended Simone's season probably. To each disaster. Disaster, unless you're a Hearts fan. So you see what I mean? These restaurants are shut this time. So it's not definitely it's not a late night place for restaurants. My hotel's just literally just past this wee bar here. The live singer's finished here. He was on earlier on. So this is probably just shutting up as well. So it's quite a quiet place, with the exception that one wee street that I showed just as Lofty's bar. The singer was on earlier on. I said my. The tail is literally just there. And there's a Chinese just across there that was considered going as well, but when I went by earlier, that was shut as well. So don't leave your dinner too late here. You're going to need to probably, um, you're going to need to probably have dinner 
really 10 o'clock, latest I think in most places. That mean pub restaurant was really busy earlier on during the day as well. Again, it doesn't seem that busy at night. It's more of a daytime place. Not really been down that bit too much. I'm not 100% sure what's down there. I did do a quick video. There's some good sports bars around the corner there. Showing a few of them. Check it out in the channel. If I remember, I'll leave a link at the end. Two minds where to go now. I could just go back to the room. I need a wee supermarket or something to get a wee drink, I think. A wee bottle of water, a can of coke or something. Singing Tina Turner now, eh? So do I go in here and, and watch the Eurovision results or do I go in and watch the singer? Oh, I'm going to pick the singer, definitely. Uh, as far as I know, there's not a live music on it this time of night on a Saturday. Maybe they finished early because of Eurovision. I don't know. Any sign of the singer coming back on? Not at all, I'm afraid. I think she's finished. Unless she was on a break, but I've seen a lot of people leaving. So I reckon she's not on a break. How are we getting on? They are not, I'm disgusting the axe here. Okay viewers, decision time. Probably head in here and get a wee drink, eh? She's quite a good wee singer. Okay viewers, goodbye from Baywatch, you'll see you in the next one, okay? Thanks.